internship. Nasa second quarter na tayo sa school year 2020-2021. At ang topic po natin ay it's all about earth. This is our very own planet earth. As you can see, Philippines is located on the upper portion of the equator. Nakikita nyo ba yung arrow? Yes, napakaliit lang ng Pilipinas. Sa mga estudyante ko, pag-screenshot at PM nyo o ipulog nyo sa Dropbox nyo. For the next activity, I want you to answer yes or no. We have eight questions below. And then, you're going to write it on your notebook. A few moments later. Given the instruction above, number one, Earth has three layers, the crust, the mantle, and the core. Ang pinakaibabaw ay yung crust, sunod ang mantle, tsaka core. Number two, earth crust is largely made up of oceanic basalt and continental granite. Number three, it is an oblate spheroid. It's flattened on the equator and bulges on the poles. Number four, Crust describes the outermost shell of the terrestrial planet. Ito po yan, napakanipis ng crust. Number 5. The Earth is 12,756 kilometers at the equator and 12,714 kilometers from the pole to pole. Number 6. Earth is the second planet from the sun and the only astronomical object known to harbor life. Nandyan tayo, mga halaman at hayop. Number 7. Philippines is located along the Pacific Ring of Fire. Diyan sa kulay orange na yan, dyan mo makikita na napakadaming active volcanoes. Okay, the last one, number 8. Earth crust is a thick shell on the outside of the earth accounting for less than 1% of the Earth's volume. Ayan, nakikita nyo kung gaano kanipis ang ibabaw ng lupa. And now, eto na. Let's reveal the answers. In number 1, we have yes. Number 2, we have yes again. In number 3, no, because Earth falls on the equator. Number four, it says yes. Number five, yes again. Number six, no, because Earth is the third planet from the sun. Again, number eight is no. It is only 1% of the Earth's volume. We proceed to pretest before discussion. Since napag-aralan na natin ang mga basic information sa Earth, proceed naman po tayo ngayon sa uh, sa fault mga friendship. Okay, so pretest muna, then maya-maya ng konti discussion tayo. Now, let's reveal the answers. Number one, true. An earthquake is caused by a sudden slip on fault. Number two, true. 
stress in the earth's outer layer pushes the sides of the fold together. Number three, again true. The friction across the surface of the fold holds the rock together so they do not slip immediately when pushed sideways. Number four, eventually enough stress, stress build up and the rock slips suddenly, releasing energy in waves that travel through the rock to cause the shaking that we feel during earthquake. Number five, the answer is false because the rupture begins at a point on the fault plane called the hypocenter, a point usually deep down on the fault. In number six, it is true. The epicenter is the point on the surface directly above the hypocenter. We are now in number seven. The answer is true. The rupture keeps spreading until something stops it. Number eight, the answer is false. Aftershock are earthquakes that follows the biggest shocks of an earthquake sequence. Number nine, the fault plane is a planar flat surface along which there is a slip during an earthquake, not a storm, so that is false. The answer for number 10 is true. A seismic wave is an elastic wave generated by an impulse such as an earthquake or an explosion. Write the correct arrangement of the words below in your notebook. We can use these words in our succeeding activities. Example of an earthquake. A fault. Fault slip. A seismograph. Direction and propagation such as P wave and S wave. We also have the Richter scale which measures magnitude of an earthquake. This is due to high intensity that damage property. This is an example of fault line which is the big one here in Metro Manila. This picture indicates the hypocenter beneath the earth's surface. On the surface of the earth, we call that as epicenter. These are the evidence of fault.
maraming thank you po. Kung bago ka po sa aking channel, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-follow nyo na rin ako sa Facebook. Ang susunod ko pong vlog ay ang part 2 na 4, Geological Types of Fog. Dito lang yan sa Buhay Buhok. Bye-bye!